and in general quality of life do you think it's uh, it's okay yeah i would say so we have, we've been having a really good time uh, we've been like paying low interest during quite a long time mm -hmm. uh, so my generation we will, uh, we can afford buying our own house and what is the best thing about being swedish and living in sweden I guess it's the opportunities uh, that we get independently of which family you come from. Right. Um, you still have the same opportunities as everyone else yes. um, for just about anything. Yeah. And I guess that's because we have free, uh, free university. Yeah. And for me, being part of EU, yes. I can pretty much go wherever I want around here. So, so how is life in Sweden at the moment? Yeah, it's it's great except the weather, <laughs> but otherwise it's it's great. Uh, the general quality of life is good. Yeah, it's like we eat good, we live good. Uh, there's a lot of good style and uh, everywhere from uh, carpentry to uh, craftsmanship in, uh, in gastronomy. Hello, my name is Michael Lambert and uh, today I'm in Sweden. I'm in a city called Gothenburg. It's the second biggest city in Sweden. It's, um, it has a population of uh, about 600,000, which is slightly bigger than, than Manchester. Now, I want to make just two points before I show you the video. The first is this, that the reason I make these videos, and this is now the fifth one I've made in different cities and different countries throughout the EU, it is to to try and show you, give you some idea of the quality of life in these cities, because we're told, particularly by Tory politicians, that uh, whenever we complain about things in the UK, we're told it's just it's just as bad everywhere else. Just oh, they're all everybody's suffering. It's it's, it's it's even worse in the EU. Well, the 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 point of the videos is to really show this is absolute nonsense, and that in fact uh, things are quite different, in, uh, well, as you'll see in in in, in Sweden and uh, everywhere else I've been. Second point I want to make is in order to preempt any uh, any comments which I'm no doubt people are writing as I speak. It's well known that there's a, a certain amount of gun violence in uh, in Sweden at the moment. Now the Swedes are quite peace loving people, as everybody knows, and uh, the reason for all this violence is that uh, they had a slightly laxer immigration policy a few years back, and uh, uh, it seems that a lot of people have come into Sweden from. Uh, from the Balkans and from Turkey and so on, and they've come in in order to set up and to organise uh, uh, drug operations. And uh, an inevitable consequence has been, of course, that they're all fighting amongst each other and killing each other and blowing up each other's houses and so on. So there's a lot of violence, but it is restricted to certain certain areas of uh, of the major towns. That's uh, Stockholm, Gothenburg, Uppsala, and uh, particularly Malmo. So it's not a it's not a, a question that you don't go out of the street without uh, without an armed, armed guard. It's it's a question of that there are ghettos where people are are, uh, are fighting over drugs. Having said all that, um, I'll show you around a little bit. <laughs>
som är god mot dig. Now, in that sort of walk around, I don't think I saw, I don't think I saw a single empty shop. I didn't see any uh, boarded up shops. I didn't see any uh, charity shops, any pound shops, any betting shops. I didn't see any vape shops. I didn't see any homeless people. I didn't see any litter. I didn't see any uh, graffiti. All the things that make our towns uh, rather disappointing at the moment. None of that was present here. Instead, I thought it looked like quite a, a, a prosperous town. Now, when I was about to leave the, uh, uh, the shopping centre, which I showed you, I, I noticed an escalator going down to a supermarket in the basement, and I thought, well, I'll pop down and have a quick look. And uh, I, I was pretty astonished by, by what I saw, particularly in the fruit and vegetable section. You'll know that we're getting used in, in, in the UK to fruit and vegetables being uh, less fresh and uh, less variety and so on. And uh, what I saw, I think, was what uh, was the way that uh, vegetable departments, fruit departments ought to be. And I was quite, uh, as I said, quite struck. The next day I went to a food market in the, in the middle of uh, Gothenburg. And it's a type of market, a covered market, like we have in, in, in most towns all over the UK. You know, a lot of uh, a, a lot of little shops selling uh, various foodstuffs, and uh, perhaps a place where you can get a cup of tea and a, 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 and a, a cake or something. But this was really, really of um, superb quality. I mean, it was a really nice place. Uh, that I did eat there one day, and the food was absolutely fabulous. They cooked in front of you, and uh, uh, and the food that was on sale was really, really nice as well. So uh, I'll show you some of that as well. One of the things I noticed about uh, uh, walking around Gothenburg was how many nice parks there were, really, really beautiful parks, and how well maintained everything seemed to be. You know, everything was clean and tidy, and uh, I used the trams quite a lot, and they were very efficient and so on. It, it was generally a nice, a, a nice atmosphere, I felt. But anyway, have a look and see what uh, uh, what you think. Thank you. 
I've been here for three days and for two nights and obviously I've had to eat and I've eaten uh, four or five meals and I must say uh, I, I have eaten some of the most delicious food I've ever eaten. I couldn't believe how good some of it was and uh, you can imagine sort of very fresh fish and so on and meat, Swedish meatballs but uh, the extraordinary thing was that it wasn't particularly expensive. I paid no more for any uh, any meal than I would have expected to pay in a sort of medium priced chain restaurant anywhere in, in the UK. So they really, really do eat well. And uh, and stuff is all, wherever I ate, was individually prepared in that particular restaurant. It wasn't, uh, you know, I, I don't think I was eating in any any chain restaurants. Now there is a there is a main avenue that goes right down through the centre of Gothenburg where there are quite a lot of restaurants. It's a bit like a, a sort of Champs Elysees, really. I went there on a, I think it was Wednesday evening. It had been pouring rain all afternoon. It was still raining a bit, and uh, and I walked uh, up through this this avenue, and uh, you could see the restaurants. Quite a lot of them doing quite a lot of business even on a wet uh, October Wednesday evening. And so I'd imagine weekends and, and, and in the summer, they're probably uh, absolutely packed out. I think people can afford to go out and eat in, in, uh, in Sweden. But anyway, have a look and see what you think. <laughs>
So how are things in Sweden at the moment? Yes, <laughs> it's uh, good and bad. Yes. Yes. What is good? Yeah, the 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 the. What can I say? Yeah. The people here, the family, and, uh, and that, and the bad is all these threats from war Neighbors. everywhere. Yeah. Neighbors. Yes. No, no war in the Middle East. Oh, and right. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you optimistic about the future? Yeah. You are? Um, it seems uh, very peaceful here, everybody's very friendly, it's a, it's a wonderful place. Yeah, it is, it is. Country, yeah. Depends on where you are. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm sure. I yeah. think it's the same in London. Yeah, London. Yeah, that's true. What do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a software developer. Oh, okay. uh, so I work for Opera Software, uh, you know, as in the browser Opera. Yeah. Um, so. And uh, you obviously went to university here. Do you pay any tuition fees? In no, we don't actually. And I'm really happy that that's the, that's the case because I think if I grew up in America, for example, with my parents' economy, I'm pretty sure I would not have gone to university. I would not have the opportunity right. to get the kind of education that I did here. Um, so my, my parents, when I was a kid, uh, they didn't really have a lot of money. Um, so thanks to the, I guess uh, thanks to the Swedish government, yes. uh, I had the opportunity to go to one of the best universities in Sweden really? and get a proper education. And if, did you stay on for a master's? Sorry? Did you stay on for a master's degree? Uh, I um, I attended for a master's. Right. Uh, I never actually finished a master's. Uh, I dropped out before okay. I finished it, mostly but just because I didn't really need it for my job. And again, you didn't pay for that? No. Really? What about health here? If you're, if you're ill, do you have to pay for health care? Uh, we, so usually there's, there's a small amount you have to pay. Right. Uh, and there's a limit to how much you have to pay per year if you need more okay. health care. Uh, I think the limit is maybe 150 euros or something. Okay. Uh, so no, uh, we don't. We really don't pay that okay. much for healthcare. Same with dentistry. We we do get free uh, dental care until we're, I think, twenty five or thirty okay. or something. Uh, it differs a little bit depending on which city you, you live right. in. Um, but after that, after that, you have to pay for it. Right. But I would say it's still not that. It's not that much you have to pay okay. for it. And what is the best thing about being Swedish and living in Sweden? I guess it's the opportunities uh, that we get, independently of which family you come from. Right. Um, you still have the same opportunities as everyone else yes. um, for just about anything. Yeah. And I guess that's because we have free, uh, free university. Yeah, yeah. And what about the worst thing? Ooh, what's the worst thing? Um, I guess you can consider Sweden being a little bit boring. <laughs> that way, I, I guess that would be the case. Uh, I lived in the in in the U.S. for a while, and right. everything is. I would say everything is just a bit bigger. There's more going on, right. you know that kind of stuff. Here, everything is a little bit more it's mellow. Country. Yeah, uh, which is not necessarily a bad thing. It's yeah. just that for me, I like when things are happening. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna stay here. Um, for now, at yeah. least, yeah. um, I would say Sweden is a perfect place to be during the summer. Uh, it's pretty dark and cold here during the winter. Yeah. So I usually try to get down to some other countries in Europe. Right. Uh, I've been in Spain for the past few, few winters. Uh, and for me being part of EU, yes. I can pretty much go wherever I want around here. So I guess that's why I go to Spain. <laughs>
What did you think of the UK leaving the EU? I have no idea why they would do that. No. Um, a lot of people have. <laughs> <laughs> We're still wondering. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I don't know. Most of the people I met while while I've been traveling, uh, people from the UK, uh, they have been saying that it's been, you know, not a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> Everything has been a lot more complicated. Yes. Is what I yes. heard. So, how is life in Sweden at the moment? Yeah, it's it's great except the weather. <laughs> but otherwise, it's it's great. The economy doing well. The economy is repairing. Um, it's getting better. It's I... uh, it's been um, last year. It's been quite tough. Yeah. So, but it's getting better. Are people generally optimistic? Yeah, I think I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. What's what's the uh, the best thing about Sweden and what's the worst thing about Sweden? The best thing, uh, I would say, the the summertime, the yeah. the uh, coast and the yeah, you can go to the north of northern Sweden. Um, it's a uh, different living up there. Yeah. Then go to the south of Sweden. It's totally different, yeah. different culture and stuff like that. Yes. Um, so. Yeah, it's. Uh, I like living in Sweden. It's. Uh, I wouldn't move to another country. What do you think about being part of the EU? Um, I think it's good. Yeah. Um, I th believe that most people are are agree with that. Um, so, yeah. Um, what did you think about the e uh, the UK leaving the EU? Uh, yeah, I, I'm not sure. Um, I think they should also be a part of it. Uh, that's my opinion. Yeah. Uh, but um, I haven't so much to say about that, really. Except it's we we should be united. Yes, <laughs> I think so too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can I just ask what you do for a living? Yeah, I'm a system developer. Ah, okay. Just uh, out for lunch. Right. Um, so, how are things in in Sweden at the moment? Um, it's good. What are you like thinking of? The economy. The economy. Um, well, it's been better, but lately it's been. Um, well, the economy has been better. The uh, the banks they have lowered the interest. Okay. So, personally, I would say my economy is quite good right now. So you're quite optimistic. Yeah. I am. Do you think most people are? Um, Referring to the economy, I would say probably yes. And in general quality of life, do you think it's uh, it's okay? Yeah, I would say so. Okay. We have, we've been having a really good time. Uh, we've been like paying low interest during quite a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, so my generation, we will, uh, we can afford buying our own house. Right. Uh, so I would say it's good. Another question about, do you know anything about maternity pay? Yeah. And what is the deal? Uh, it's very good. Yes, uh, I get it. Yeah, we get from uh, the state. Yeah. Uh, it, it depends on how high your salary is. Yes. And then you get 80% uh, from it. And if um, we have something, I don't know the term in English, but yep. uh, we have a, um, like the union and the employer can agree on paying extra so okay. we get 90 percent so how is life in sweden at the moment i would say right now it's uh, quite good and this is a beautiful time uh, in the autumn if you look around us the leaves are falling yes. there's a lot of colors uh, the general quality of life is good yeah it's like we eat good we live good uh, there's a lot of good style and uh, Everywhere from uh, carpentry to uh, craftsmanship in, uh, in gastronomy, the interest rates are finally going down. So mm. it's a, probably a mark of um, of uh, a brighter future. Right. Um, but uh, if you are homeless in Sweden, what happens? I don't I see people sleep, sleeping in the doorways and things like that. No, I think uh, you're getting good taken care of. Right. I'm uh, not so familiar with any cases. I know a few guys that's been homeless, mm -hmm. um, and they have. What I've realized is that they're getting, they stay outside quite a lot of temp uh, time right. in the winter, uh, summer, half year, 
but the rest of the year they're getting very good take care of. Right. There's uh, places where you can sleep, where you can get food, yeah. where you're getting taken care of. But um, there's a very good uh, social uh, system here, so I think it's um, uh, to become homeless. It's probably a big struggle. It's probably even hard to be homeless yes. here. I think yes. if you don't really want to be homeless. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, you will get uh, taken care of. So my conclusion, having spent uh, two or three days here in uh, Gothenburg, is that it's a pretty nice place and that the quality of life is is is, is pretty good here. The people I found to be extremely well educated, very friendly, very helpful, just about everybody I spoke to. In fact, everybody I spoke to spoke English and in many cases, much better English than many people in England speak. Uh, they were all extremely, extremely uh, helpful. And, uh, and there was a general feeling amongst those I spoke to of a certain amount of optimism and, and certain, a fair amount of satisfaction with the present situation. Now, as far as the... Uh, cost of living is concerned. I did a certain amount of research comparing prices in Manchester with those in Gothenburg because they're two similar sized cities. And just about everything was more or less the same price with two notable exceptions. The first exception was uh, renting property. Uh, rents in, uh, in Sweden seem to be uh, around about 30% less than they are in the UK. The other thing that was noticeably much cheaper was uh, childcare. Uh, preschool childcare. Now, uh, in the UK, as I understand it, it costs over a thousand pounds a month to, um, to, to to put your child in into care whilst you're working or whatever. Uh, here in Sweden, the cost is a, a hundred, around about a hundred pounds a month. And uh, the idea is that the Swedes want to have want people to have more babies because, like every other country in in Western Europe, uh, they're an aging population and uh, it's either more babies or immigration and uh, they encourage people to have babies so that when you have a baby the mother and the father can share up to 18 months of uh, a paternity or maternity leave on uh, 80 or 90 percent of, uh, of their normal pay and uh, uh, child care is extremely extremely affordable now uh, 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 apart from that i think uh, I, I, I i don't think i I don't think I saw anything else negative, really. I mean, it just seems a nice, peaceful and uh, and, and prosperous city. I, I, as I said at the beginning, I think this business about the crime, it doesn't seem to concern anybody. and Nobody's talking about it. In fact, people were talking to me more about uh, the riots in Southport and about the epidemic of shop uh, shoplifting in, 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 in the UK than they were about uh, any crime in Sweden. As I say, I think it's very much uh, restricted to to ghettos. And I can't help feeling in conclusion really that uh, this is the sort of quality of life that I think we might have hoped to have attained at some stage had we remained in the EU. But instead of course we, as we all know, we decided that we would do better uh, outside of the EU, that we would become global Britain and we'd leave the uh, evil empire. And uh, and in so doing would help, help Boris Johnson get into Daddy Street. And uh, I, I think uh, it's difficult not to feel rather sad about that. Now, if you watched this far, <laughs> thank you very much indeed, as always. If you haven't already subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you do so. If you have found this of interest, uh, I, I just want to say that these um, these trips are quite expensive. We do get some money from from. Uh, uh, from YouTube, but uh, if you'd like to see other towns and so on, and, and uh, you'd like to help and chip in with a couple of pounds, I would very, very much appreciate it. I don't much like asking for money, but uh, but it would help. So anyway, uh, with that, uh, uh, thank you very much again, and until next time, bye for now.